Hey guys, this is Joy back again with another video. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. It really does mean a lot. I'm back again. Um, I made another video earlier. Um, that was one of my most recent videos. Um, thank you for everybody that made comments. Um, and just a heads up, if you have something negative to say, please don't say it. I mean, I don't really have time for that. Um, I really hate to take the time out to say something like that but I see some people are just you know they just leave things that are just weird on the comments but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video because somebody say you know I talk a lot before I say what I need to say but that's just you know I'm just kind of talking and reintroducing myself because some people don't really know me it might be their first time coming to my channel they're not a subscriber but anyway please make sure you guys like share subscribe um, if you have any comments or questions about narcissistic abuse, please leave it in the comment box and I'll make a video about it. Uh, let's see, do I have any comments? Let me just double check before I get into the video. Um, let's see here. One second, you guys. One moment. Let's see something, because I just made the video, so... Make sure you guys are following me on um, Facebook at Live Narc Free. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, Live Narc Free as well. Um, let's see. Um, my computer is like super slow. I'm not sure why. Um, see something did I get any comments I think I did get a comment somebody left me a comment right now or was it this was from my other page hold on bear with me you guys bear with me because I know y'all be in a hurry for stuff hold on okay yeah so um all right so i'm just gonna read the one comment and then i'm gonna get right into the video okay <laughs> so it says just found out that my ex narc oh it comes from carmen nevias i hope i said that right <laughs> she says just found out my ex narc found and lives with someone new within three months he says he's happy and content and never wants to return back to my home I never asked him to come back. Hold on one second, y'all. Let's see. I never asked him to come back to begin with. He is trying his best to show pics in places where we've been to. He tells me I won't be able to control him, which I never did. He's a psycho. Yeah, I'll probably make another video about that, how they just move on quickly and how you're never really the only one. Um, sorry to hear about this, Carmen. I know it's heartbreaking um, and I know what that feels like. So my condolences, um, I understand your pain. Um, you know, sad to say, but your narc never loved you. Um, he was just using you. For narcissistic, narcissistic supply, that's how they can move on so quickly. But a lot of people always wonder about that. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason why. Um, yeah, if you need help or you want to keep moving forward and, you know, living your life and getting the assistance and the healing you need, definitely email me, livenarcfree9 at gmail.com or anybody else. Never be ashamed or scared to reach out to me um i'm just like all of you guys i'm no bigger no better than anybody out there okay so i'm going to get into the message of the video um and i'll talk more about the narc abuse and all that stuff and um how you guys could email me for a coaching session and also i did want to announce you guys i do do um tarot oracle readings whether it be for love whether it be for um 
career money um and just anything in general so you guys can email me as, as well as for that um, like i said i recently found out that i am a clairvoyant um psychic um oracle card reader um clairvoyant intuitive so empath and all that good stuff so anyway we'll get into that later but let's go ahead and get into the message so the message is going to be um i don't have any notes this is actually just coming from the heart um, I wanted to talk about um, dealing with rejection when it comes to love relationships. Um, you know, we can get rejected in so many ways, you know. Um, you, we can get rejected from a job. We can get rejected from a basketball team. We can get rejected from just anything, you know. Let's say we cook some food and somebody didn't like the food. That could be a rejection. Um, we can get rejected for, let's say, a book we wrote. Or who knows? Just rejection, period. Like, life is full of rejection, you know? And it's how you deal with it. But for me, what I found has been such, you know, um, a battle. And um, still working on healing. And I think I'm not where I used to be. But learning to accept rejection from somebody you love has definitely been something that is a journey. It's it's a healing process. It's definitely not a sprint. It's a marathon. Um, you know, the reason why I bring this up is because, you know, my last relationship was with someone that I really, really love, which I think I will love him forever. Um... But I think in that moment, though, when I had those feelings for him, um, I don't think he loved himself. And I don't think he was used to somebody genuinely genuinely loving him for him. Um, I think he was probably used to somebody loving him for what he could give. What he could give to the person. I don't know why my eyes look like that. In there. So, yeah, like what he could give to the person. So, um you know so it wasn't anything that was like genuine ever why does this look like this uh, I hate that that sorry you guys yeah so um you guys see what it is it's like on this side it's like kind of on my right side it looks like it's a it's a dark circle okay there it is this is better I want to make sure you guys can see me fully okay cool this is better so um yeah and um i loved him genuinely and he didn't love himself so in a situation like that was unfair because it was like i'm the one that's doing all the loving or he will give me love but he's not giving love to himself he's not loving on him you know so it's like it's it's kind of one-sided because he's not really um receiving anything and, and on my end, I'm giving, 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 giving. He's just take, 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 take. You know, but anyway, so the reason why I'm, I want to make this video is because I want to say um, when you are rejected by somebody you love, that's a big ego hit. Like your ego has been bruised. You feel like you're not good enough. You feel like, you know, because... The thing is, with I'm not going to say his name, and I don't know if he's watching or not, but that's okay. He probably is. But um, this person actually chose someone else over me. They ended up marrying someone else. But I will say that the, he actually came back and said that he regretted. I mean, well, he didn't say that he regretted. He said that he was sorry and that he made a mistake. And he said that he only did what he did for money because again he married the person um but it turned out that the girl proposed to him so it wasn't like he actually came out of pocket and bought the person the ring the person bought him the ring so it was kind of like backwards but he still accepted it and he still decided to go through with it and he didn't tell me that he was already involved so to me that was like a betrayal of my trust and i felt like i couldn't trust him anymore and you know, I still had love for him because, you know, I know a lot of girls um, would have, you know, reached out to the person and be like, hey, you know, your husband did this with me and I have pics to prove, I have screenshots and all that stuff. I didn't do any of that. I said, you know what, you did what you did. Um, it was nice meeting you. Um, I wish you the best. 
um, and I just I let it go you know and it was interesting like once I let it go once I accepted it and I said you know what I deserve better um, I just didn't want to go back I mean you know he would still reach out to me ask me if it was okay if he checks up on me and I said that was fine because I still love I still had love for him at the end of the day like I couldn't hate him I couldn't be bitter I couldn't hold grudges because when you do all that stuff that just weighs you down that doesn't um make you um oh here it goes again hold on one second you guys hold on I want to fix that I hope y'all can't see that. Can y'all see that anymore? Oh. Okay, cool. That's better. Let's see. Alright, so yeah. Um. So yeah, and um. So yeah, I didn't have any bitterness. But, okay, so back to the topic. So, learning how to deal with the rejection of a loved one. What I would recommend, I would say, you have to accept the lesson for what it was. What what can you learn from the situation? Like, why did you get into that situation, first of all, you know? Um, you know, did you hurt somebody in the past? Or, you know, um, what, what can you gain from the situation? Because for me... I like to like when when negative things like that happen or not a negative thing or like when it's like let's say you feel betrayed or played because I actually felt that way when that happened to me you know because I found out that he was married to social media he didn't actually even tell me that he was already involved with someone you know um, I found out through social media and then once I approached him he still denied it you know until I finally said hey you know you don't have to lie you know you could just tell me and you could be honest and the thing is he didn't want to be honest because he didn't want to let me go but that's not fair because if you already have somebody you gotta let me go so I can go and find somebody and by the way I am in a new relationship so um, and everything is going good he's a really really nice guy he is Jamaican a very sweet guy so um, yeah we're going strong <laughs> And so, yeah, God willing, we will make it last forever. So, yeah, I know it sounds kind of cheesy, right? Sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so dealing with rejection of a loved one, um, it can be hurtful. It can be very, very painful. Um, and you can blame yourself. You could be like, man, like, what did I do wrong? And why didn't they choose me? What, what makes the other person better? And, you know, I had to come and realize, like, you know, it wasn't even about me. It, like, his decision to choose the other person was not, had nothing to do with me. The, the person was already, you know, um, apparently it was about money, you know, and that had nothing to do with me, you know, because I'm not going to sit up here and take care of a man. Like, and if anything, I have, I'm supposed to be ta getting taken care of. So, I mean, but that's none of my business, but you know it is what it is and it's funny because he like I said I, I let the situation go this happened over a year ago but um it still it kind of stings here and there because you know sometimes you have the flashbacks and you think about what happened and you feel betrayed and you feel duped because sometimes I'm like man like I really was fooled you know and but I had to think like where was my mindset like why did I allow myself to be in that situation and I had to think like okay I didn't love myself in that in that period of time I didn't respect myself I didn't value myself so it's like if I didn't do that for myself what makes another person gonna do that you know what I mean so it's like however you treat yourself that's how another person is gonna treat you so that kind of brings me back basically um dealing with the rejection is you gotta accept it you gotta learn the lesson Another way I would say is definitely get close to God. Um, find your peace and your comfort in God. Pray about it. Ask God to help you to heal. Ask God to help you to forgive that person, to forgive yourself, to forgive your parents. And another point what I would say is definitely get in contact with your mom, get in contact with your dad. That's something that I did once I um, had that rejection from somebody that I loved. I got in contact with my mom, and, well, mainly my dad, because he was the one that raised me and my brother. 
and you know I had a talk with my dad and we 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 talked we got into it not in a bad way but we just talked about how we felt and you know I spoke my mind he spoke his mind and we we said our peace and I let it go and I ended up saying like my dad is the greatest dad in the world and I truly believe that because my dad did the best that he could with what he had what he knew and that's what he was supposed to do you know and um yeah so I'm just um yeah I wanted to share this video with you guys because I think it could help somebody out there that might be struggling um with dealing with rejection of a loved one because it can be so devastating like because when you love somebody, you're not expecting them to hurt you. I mean, granted, you know, it's life, things happen, it is what it is, but a lot of people aren't prepared, and sometimes it throws us off, it makes us, everything just changes. Like, it could change you for the good, or it could change you for the bad. Good meaning you learn from it, you grow, you say, okay, what's the lesson in this? How can I become a better person? How can I use this pain to help someone else? bad you know being bitter being jealous being negative and trying to um expose the person and just being holding grudges and negativity it's like that that doesn't help you or it doesn't help anybody in the situation you know so i'm just happy that i was able to become better and i know that it was a reason why i went through it and i don't like question god i know everything is for a reason so hopefully this video helped i hope you guys understood it and i hope that um you guys can learn to embrace rejection and don't run from it um more than likely it's going to happen in any area of your life but don't take it personal learn from it accept it be be at peace with it um and get used to it it actually makes you stronger <laughs> it makes you stronger it makes you a better person it makes you know what it is that you want because now in my new relationship i actually got me a pretty good man like not to brag but he's a really good man like he really listens to me he takes care of me um he wants the best for me he supports me um, he's there for me, he listens, and he's understanding. Now, granted, I will say I did pray about it, <laughs> so this was an answered prayer from God, but I really learned my worth, my self-worth, and what it is that I deserve, and I started to really love on myself, you know, um, and through that self-love, I'm like, this is what I deserve, this is what I'm going for, and I'm not accepting this, I'm not accepting this, but I will accept this, I will accept that, you know, what makes what um, fulfills me and what makes me happy you know I'm not gonna go along with someone else's agenda I'm gonna go along with my agenda alright so thank you guys for tuning in to the channel and again um, you guys know that I'm a coach for narcissistic abuse if you like to book a coaching session again they are affordable we could do it through Facebook Skype Google Hangout um, WhatsApp whatever the case is whatever works for you um, email me at livenarkfree9 at gmail.com and I'm also doing personal readings again you guys know from my past video I said that I am um, pretty much a psychic medium uh, clairvoyant so I have the ability to guide people to um, you know in ways that will help them go in a direction uh, that's suitable for them whether when it comes to love when it comes to uh, relationships and just in general, just life period, you know, money, career, um, I could kind of give you some guidance and let you know, like, what's going on, what's to come, um, I'm not God, you know, but I am definitely an earth angel, I am his child, and I definitely am somebody that, um, has a lot of knowledge, has, has a lot of wisdom, has a lot of experience, um, so yeah, you guys, thank you so much again for tuning into my channel, uh, make sure that you leave a comment or a question if you have anything you want me to make a video about in regards to narcissistic abuse. Oh, and when it comes to the personal readings for the love readings, the career, relationship, what will happen is um, I'll make you a video depending on how long you want it to be. It could be, um, if it's a six minute card reading, it'll probably be about 10 minutes. If it's a nine card reading, maybe like 15 minutes. And if it's a 12 card reading probably be about 30 minutes um, I'll send you the file 
um, to your email. Um, once you pay me through PayPal, I'll send it and then we'll go from there. And also, I could pro possibly do an email, um, one question, um, reading. So that's available as well. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Love you guys. Bye.